Hi, this is Franz, Chef Franz, and I'm going to show you today a special uh, seafood soup. Some call it Booyah Bears. I call it the Basel fish soupe. You love it. It's simple, healthy. Here we go. These are the ingredients, okay? So, um, close in, we have, of course, olive oil. We have here something very nice from uh, 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 Calabrian hot peppers. Uh, we have here uh, vegetarian uh, bouillon. We have carrots and uh, purple potatoes. We have uh, uh, fennel stalks, stalks, we have fresh cut tomatoes, parsley and garlic, we have onions, we have celery stalks, we have of course lemon juice, ah, and the vino of course, white wine, um, then we have uh, some um, spices here, this first one I'm going to use for um, seasoning the uh, seafood, paprika, we have red pepper, we have black pepper, tarragon, and here, uh, herb sea salt, okay? So, okay, here we go. Enjoy, and I'm gonna uh, place this up here so you can watch what, what I'm doing. Um, okay, so, we're gonna uh, use this Italian pressure cooker. Um, okay, so we get the uh, onions here going. And uh, Soon we're gonna add uh, the parsley. Okay. Okay. So I added the uh, olive oil, as you can see, uh -huh. and. Uh, The nice thing about the pressure cooker is uh, within uh, roughly five, eight minutes, uh, these vegetables are tender and uh, I have a beautiful stock to uh, make my basil fish soup. Uh, the name comes from my uh, birthplace. I'm born in Basel, Switzerland. And it's uh, situated on the River Rhine, which, uh, of course, I'm going to add here a little more oil. Uh, and then I'm going to add the parsley. I'm going to wait with the garlic. I don't want to have, uh, and I'm keeping some parsley. Uh, that's been for the. Uh, to add to the uh, finished uh, fish soup, you know, for serving them. Uh, anyway, um, it's situated on the River Rhine, and of course, the Rhine, River Rhine, ends up in Holland. So uh, there is a connection to the sea, as you can see. <laughs> uh, and uh, so uh, at this point I'm gonna add just a little more because I did add increase quantity here but, and uh, the quality of this uh, pressure cooker is incredible. I mean, the steel quality. 
so therefore uh, I've had this like over 25 years yeah so I'm gonna add the garlic now okay and uh, maybe not even a minute I'm gonna add this one. Vino, okay, and you will hear some beautiful. Increase the heat a little bit, okay. The smell is just terrific. So, crush the garlic a little more, and we're all set, okay. Now, it's time to add the bouillon, that's this uh, vegan or uh, vegetable, vegetarian bouillon, okay. And uh, again, I want to demonstrate, we don't need any chicken bouillon here, or maybe fish sauce, I don't know. But anyhow, Increase the heat here, and now we can add pretty much everything else here, and of course we need to add more water, uh, a lot more as we go along. Okay. So, excellent. And this, like I said, eight minutes. I'm surprised. After the, uh, you hear the valve, the pressure cooker. Uh, Start working. Okay. Very good. At this point, I'm going to also add more spices such as tarragon. I like tarragon a lot. It's a French, very common in the French cuisine. Uh, I'm going to add a little more the sea salt here, the herbamar from uh, Switzerland. Uh, okay. There's one thing I did forget, and I'm going to add it. I'm going to add some of this crushed pepper. I'm going to add some paprika. I always like paprika. And uh, this, the last one, is of course all then for, spy, uh, for seasoning our fish. But, ah, guess what? I forgot the bay leaf. So the bay leaf is coming. Let's see and uh so a couple of bay leaves okay so i'll show that on the camera bay leaves so look at this it's gonna get a beautiful stock so make sure everything is ready here Let's save so we're gonna close this In no time, we'll have okay. So, so now I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to move that pressure cooker to the back once this gets going, and then uh, I'm going to get the seafood ready and the other stuff um, okay
So now, I'm going to move the phone camera <laughs> over here. I hope this is gonna work. And uh, you should be able to see that. Okay. So here I'm going to uh, prepare the seafood. We have, of course, uh, mussels, as you can see, they're ready here. They, uh, and then I'm going to add some other seafood. I got up here. Okay. And um, here we got some piece of, oh, now we have a dozen of shrimp. Beautiful. Okay, then we have. Um, Haddock, the local haddock, yep. Beautiful. And then, believe it or not, we have a piece of tuna. Ah, oh, I just got a variety of things. Sometimes I get scallops too. Anyway, these are the things we have here. And, uh, so, I'm going to prep them. Now in the meantime, probably hear the sound of the pressure cooker. And now, from here on, once you hear that, uh, it's, like I said, maybe eight minutes. So, I'm going to move this over. So here I'm going to have my spice here. This is our uh, Italian seasoning for roasted fish. Uh, I like this one. Uh, and uh, also I'm going to have a little bit of flour ready. Um, just to um, add a little coating of flour. And uh, yeah, so it's it's not very uh, difficult, okay? So the first thing is I'm gonna add a little flour here. And then I add the spices. Now we can because obviously I'm going to cut this actually. It in the frying pan. Okay, so we got this baby ready. So we do the same thing, we repeat the same thing here. And uh, while I'm doing this, the vegetable stock is going. And uh, Tuna. Okay. 
the shrimp the dozen of shrimp already peeled so good perfect okay so now I'm ready then to uh, put this in the frying pan and for the mussels, uh, they had it in at the end, okay, so. And then I'm gonna move the, uh, to our uh, frying pan here, where I'm gonna add, again, my olive oil. And uh, oops, sorry. And then I'm, in addition, I'm gonna have some uh, vegan butter. Okay. So. Get this ready here. Maybe I'm going to cut the uh, I mean the uh, tuna. It's a big uh, fat slice. Huh? Then at the end, I'm gonna add the, uh, the shrimp. Okay. So I cut everything off, as you can see. And Obviously, it doesn't take long. It's just it's going to be cooked again in the soup, right? It's it's uh, it, it sears the the fish and uh, it uh, adds some initial taste to it, you know, uh, with the spices. And, yeah, so you don't have to overdo this. And again, uh, I'm going to add now a little bit of wine again, okay? And for that, Okay. 
then I have other um, I, uh, iron, I cast iron pan ready where this can be put in and, and you can wait uh, for the time being until uh, the, uh, the shrimps are done. I'm going to do the sh shrimps here. Okay. And uh, also add a little bit of uh, vegan butter. Okay, and um, while this is uh, preparing, uh, I'm going to uh, test the wine. It is uh, Lobatia Chardonnay from um, Spain. And it is organic. So let's see, I'll let you know. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Turn these individually because I make sure they get mm, seared on both sides. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna increase the heat here on the shrimps and then add some also some white wine and other beer. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna add those here. And uh this is pretty much ready then. So now I'm going to turn off the uh, pressure cooker and I want to check. Okay. 
So to give you an idea, this looks like this now. I'm gonna test this. Very good. Very good. So now I'm going to add the seafood or the other way around. Um, cast iron, I'm going to add this. Okay. There. Now this can just simmer and uh, I'm going to add a little uh, lemon juice to that and I'm going to add a little bit of the, the Calabrian, uh, it's very careful, it's very hot oil, so you um, want to measure that. Oh yeah. So beautiful. Beautiful. Great. So that's that. So you can simmer it a little bit. Mm, unbelievable. Oh this is heaven. Heaven. Okay, so again, this is uh, Chef France, and I hope you enjoyed that, and I, I see you soon. Ciao.